Uh, here we are at AI Summit Lunge. I'm happy to say joining me here is Srini Kandala, head of AI Technology Online Business, Sears, Kmart, and Transformco. Welcome. Thank you, sir. So tell me, people don't know, people think Sears and Kmart are, are gone. What is the situation with that? So around 2019, Transformco purchased all the assets. So we have Sears, Kmart, Sears appliance businesses, Kenmore, and all of these brands. So um, yeah, the retail stores have gone down, but we have a lot of business and data uh, and we have the online business. And in addition, we have a very thriving appliance repair business and uh, Kenmore and oh, these Kenmore, brands. Kenmore, yes, very well known. Kenmore and very brands that we have right now. So where, where does data and AI fit in all of this? So there are a few things that we're trying to do. One is of course, like we have a lot of data, very diverse data. For example, if you see, we have a credit card, but at the same time we have auto centers and we have like uh, retail sales data, repair data, appliances data, IOT data. So there's a whole landscape. And even from my Amazon days, when I look at what amount of data we have at Sears, it's like the breadth is much more vast and also more historical. So for us, it's very important that we kind of get all of this data together in one place for a couple reasons. One is for ourselves. The second thing is with deep learning coming in, that amount of data to process, you need deep learning. So what, one of the things that we're really doing is we're creating pre-trained neural networks, pre-trained deep learning models that others in the industry can use. So suppose you're a small appliance shop or you're not a huge retailer, you want to do an email campaign, you cannot train a deep learning model on just your data. So we give pre-trained models, right, which basically learn the basics and that you can incrementally train on your data set if it might not be that big. So that's one of the things that we're working so on. So is this all consumer data? It is, yes, it's uh, appliance repair tech, for example, we have three main pivots. Right? One is we have an individual customer view, which is a 360 on the customer, right? Then we have an individual appliance view, right? Which is a 360 on the appliance. Did the appliance move from this, this home to another home? How many repairs did it have? Did it change hands? You know, the individual appliance view. How do you get that data? So we have like, hundred million, hundred million plus appliances that we have sold, right? So some of them are smart, some are not, but we have repair data even if it's not a smart appliance. So we would know that this refrigerator in 2018 that was sold, you know, had so many repairs and you know, then it moved and somebody buys a protection agreement. Then they change the address. So we now know that, oh, this appliance moved from this home to another home. And then so we collect that and then we also have individual geo data, right? So addresses and homes. And in addition to data we have, we obviously scrape and augment it, right? For example, if we know the home, then we know the value of the home and the value of the zip code that gets into this. And getting all of this um, using traditional data is not that, methods are not that great. So we tend to gravitate towards deep learning and create these models to kind of get and assimilate insights from this. So at the very end, what's the value? What, what do you, end up, what some, end somebody would do with all this information? So for example, um, we would know how, how do you price an insurance product when you buy an appliance, right? We would use it for targeting email campaigns as opposed to going for paid, right? We would know how to price various products based on the demand that is coming up. And all of these are coming into what we can use as we go, go into where do we launch. For example, we are increasing smaller format stores. Right, so we know which location, where did our previous members were there when we were larger store, but you know, maybe it's like five different stores as opposed to one large one, and then what kind of inventory should go down there. So getting a 360 view, and it's also important what deep learning models pick up. They're not, the, the insights these models pick up are not just um, based on what we come up with. You know, they will pick up some kind of a correlation between something you drank, the coffee, and the correlation on your insurance and the correlation on the repairs. And they pick up these models that are not very articulatable, but they're very powerful from what we see. So a year from now, if we're sitting here having a conversation, what will we be talking about? So, few things. One is, of course, you know, how are we helping Kenmore and how are we helping data with you know, the appliance repair, the insurance programs, which we call as a warranty or the protection agreement programs. But more importantly, how can we help others in the industry whether you're a credit card, whether you're uh, you know, a retailer, or whether you're trying to do an email campaign, whether you're an appliance repair technician or a small company, how can you use our deep learning models to kind of customize and power it because it's almost like, you know, like 
let's say you, you're an AI Java developer, you, what we will give you in a sense, right, is like a parallel is, is you have a person who knows how to do good Java coding, he doesn't know how to code for you. So you just have to train. So our deep learning models will know, for example, we, we stop so many repair calls and we have, uh, that other insurance companies use us, where a lot of the times people just call you and you dispatch a technician to somebody's home and all they're doing is what we call a customer instruct just telling them how to use it. And these calls go into the millions, right? And the two things happening. One is there is shortage of people who can do appliance repairs. So you're wasting valuable resources for calls that are not needed. Now we looked at 40 million calls, and now every time you call for something, the AI triages it. And then we use it, then we have Centricity, another company, they use our AI software to triage. There are others calling, so next year, we would be talking, hey, how could we take all of this insights that we had at Sears, we have at Sears, and make it into deep learning models that others who are, you know, can, can start using them in the industry. Well, I look forward to that conversation. Thank Absolutely. you very much. Yes, thank you.